So in the previous um, video we saw about jagged arrays. Uh, now we will talk about multi-dimensional arrays. So they are also known as rectangular arrays, and um, it's known rectangular arrays because of the fact that the size of every row will always be the same, <clears throat> and these arrays can have two or more dimensions. So um, for instance, if you have to solve a problem which requires row and column, then probably two D array would do. For instance, you can declare a two-dimensional array like this. So with um, four rows and two columns, and it's kind of a shortcut that, um, you know, you can get a comma here. And that means it, will, it is a two-dimensional array. So uh, if you want to declare and initialize, um, you can do it like this. Um, so I declare the two-dimensional array here and um, at the same time initialize it with uh, values as well um, on the next slide i will show you um, how i am accessing it um, so basically um, same thing again uh, i will show you in the next slide we have rows here and columns here so uh, like we had four rows and two columns uh, in this case we have uh, like five rows and two columns so if you look at 0, 0, which is the value 1, so it will be row 1, column 1, and we will print 1. Same way, 0, 1 will print 3, because it's 0, 0, and first column. Um, so uh, that's how uh, you can access a two-dimensional array. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how uh, we can sort two-dimensional array. Um, the earlier one um, in the demo, I did show you how to sort a jagged array, but in jagged array even though you know um it took two values it was a one dimensional array it was an array of arrays so it was easier to short uh sorting a multi-dimensional array is a little bit more trickier so um i will show you that how to sort sort in the next uh, video